Hello and welcome back to the demonstration on creating a calculator. By this time you should have enough knowledge to begin using JavaScript to perform some real-world mathematical calculations. And this could be things like a mortgage calculator, temperature conversions or other unit conversions, interest or investment calculators. What we're going to do is actually create an e-commerce calculator or an e-commerce tool that will uh, calculate the total of an order including tax and taking out any discount. So here is the HTML file that I provided for you and you will notice that it is very similar to the um, template that we did in lesson one. So some important points here is a the form this is something that we'll need to use in the future and the second thing to note is this type number. Type number is one of the new HTML5 uh, type attributes and in here we've given it a value and, and we've set a minimum value of one and that it's required. We'll do some validation later. All these things are required that we're going to input. Now you'll notice that the rest of the um, input tags are actually text and that's because number doesn't really deal with percentages or, or um, decimal points really well. So we've just made them text and we've given them minimum values. So that is our HTML. The next one we're looking at is our JavaScript and this is where we're going to put things together to make our calculator. So the first thing we're going to put in here is our function and we're doing our function calculate. So I'll go into more detail about how to write function, but that's what it looks like at the moment. And down the bottom here in line 32, I'm going to put in my close function bracket. I like to do that at that point um, because it means that I'm not going to miss anything in, in there at that point. And I've closed off my function that I've begun with. The next one, uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable called total which is going to actually store the order total for us and then I'm going to put in some variables that I've prepared a bit earlier that's quantity price tax and discount and you'll notice that we're using the um, DOM scripting uh, method get element by ID for quantity price tax and discount and you'll see that they are the IDs that we've given each of our fields. So quantity, price, tax and discount. And we're getting the values and the values are what's inside the form field. We're not going to worry about the validation here at the moment um, because that's not, that's not what this is about. This is about actually doing the calculation. So I'm going to do a uh, calculation of the total and that's quantity times price. Now you'll also notice that at the end of each line I put in a semicolon and that's because in JavaScript it requires the semicolon to say end of line. <coughs> Excuse me, fog in the throat. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the tax rate and we're going to make the tax into a fraction which means we have or a decimal so we need to divide it by a hundred and instead of saying tax equals tax divided by a hundred we're using the shortcut assignment operator um, divided equals and then I'm going to increase the tax by one Oops. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my tax or create my tax uh, value from, um, from this. So it's going to be uh, put into the total. So again I'm using a shortcut short operator called um, multiply equals and this means that it's 
equivalent to total equals total times tax. So we know what the tax is, and that's what we've got here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the discount. So in here we've got total minus equals discount. Again, another one of those um, little uh, um, shortcut assignment operators. And again, it's the equivalent of total mi equals total minus discount. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write it to our form element called total. That's what that's where we're going to write it to. We're going to put it in as the value. And then underneath here we're going to return false to stop it from submitting the form. So we don't want it to submit the form. What have I forgot to do up here? Use strict. And using uh, so using strict is a little bit better, it, it makes sure that it's using strict JavaScript for, uh, for uh, debugging and testing requirements. So now that I've added that in, I'm going to create my next function. My next function is the initiate function. And it's just init. And again, I'm going to put it down here as that. Inside this, I'm going to create a variable called the form and the form is actually going to be looking for document dot element by ID and the form. Remember I said that the ID for the form was something that we needed to know about because we're going to use it later and that's what this is here. And what we're going to do with this is that the form has uh, events that we um, are listening for. In this case we're listening for the on submit so that's when we click the submit button and when we do we want it to create to use the calculate function. And that's all we want to do at that point and then down here in line 53 we want to load this script when the page is loaded. So we're just going to put in on load equals Init. And that's all we have to do. So I'm going to save it. But there's one more thing I have to do on this page. On this page, I need to put in a script. And its source is equal to, it's in my JS file. And I close my script. Okay. So I'm just, uh, I'm just going to put that in so it's at the start. You get a little bit of sneak preview there. So in this point, I have a quantity. So I'm going to have a quantity of say three. I'm going to have a price of ten dollars per unit. I'm going to have a one ten percent tax rate and my discount is not going to be there so when I go calculate it brings up this cost and that doesn't look very friendly for when we're wanting to do um, uh, using money when we use a, a no more than two decimal points so we'll come back here to our JavaScript and before we display our total we're going to put in just check a, another function called to fixed and what this does is it puts in the number of decimal points that we want it to have. So in this case we want to have two decimal points. I've saved it 
So now if I come back here and I'll reload the page and I'll do the same 3 by 10 by 0 0.1, no discount, and I calculate it, it now says 30.03. So with two fix, it will actually round it to the nearest number, um, either up or down. So that's our basic calculator. This is something that you can use as a basis for um, task one in assignment one, which is a you've got some mathematical functions that you need to put in there, and you need to show um, uh, some calculations on those for those mathematical calculations. I'm going to show you how to use the math object next, and that's my next demonstration. But until then, reload this if you want, um, and have a look at it again. Go to the book and follow the book to actually do the exercise yourself. Um, and uh, I'll see you at the next demonstration.